live from the local station. News for Jax starts now. Right now at 6 o'clock, we're ending the week with a record number of COVID-19 deaths reported in a single day here in Duval County. Today, we learn nine more people have lost their lives to this illness. Florida has now surpassed 400,000 coronavirus cases and hit a new record for new hospitalizations in a single day. We also learned today the name of the nine-year-old Putnam County girl whose death from COVID-19 was revealed earlier this week. WCJB in Gainesville covered a vigil for Kimora Lynham last night. The Florida Times Union quoted a Putnam County health official who said the child had no pre-existing health conditions. Today, Tarek Miner spoke with a medical expert at UF Health about the rise in local deaths. Tarek? Well, you know, Joy, uh, sadly, you know, infectious disease experts say that they expected to see the number of deaths rise locally because of the spike in cases that we saw specifically in Duval County 10 days ago. But it's not just Duval County that broke a record today. Northeast Florida as a whole is experiencing more death. Nine deaths reported in Duval County in just one day. A troubling record for the River City with a population of nearly one million people. The new victims range in age from 65 to 93 years old. Doctors say the deaths were something they were hoping to prevent, but anticipated because of the rise in local cases. Typically the deaths tend to lag after the cases spike. So here locally in Duval County, we saw a uh, high in hospitalizations sometime around July 14th. And typically when folks uh, end up succumbing to COVID-19, that tends to be seven to 10 days, potentially after their admission to the hospital. Northeast Florida also broke another record today for the total number of deaths in a six county area with 17 new deaths reported in just one day. The state also broke a record for the number of hospitalizations, 581 statewide. Working here in the hospital where I currently am, uh, I can tell you every day that coronavirus is, is real. Um, we have had deaths in our hospital as well from this. We have continually right around 100 patients who are admitted uh, for COVID-19 right now um, for COVID-19 specific hospitalizations, not car crashes or, or other stuff. So it, it is very real. Dr. Chad Nielsen with UF Health says there is one encouraging statistic in the fight against the coronavirus, the state's percent positivity rate of 13.31% which is down from more than 19% positivity in the past. He says a percent positivity rate of less than 10% in the future would indicate significant progress. On the front end of this pandemic, we were running three to 5% positivity, which indicated really good data. And it indicated that a lot of things were moving in the correct direction. But when we're more likely around 15 to 20%, that's obviously not where we wanna be. So 10% is, is tends to be that, that uh, number one level that we're trying to reach. But I think moving forward, we can get way under that. And I'd like to see us back around 5%. So when asked if that mask mandate is working in Jacksonville, Nielsen says absolutely yes. And he points out that the spike in cases started around the 4th of July locally. And if you recall, that's when a lot of people started to put their guard down and did not adhere to the CDC suggestions and CDC guidelines.